Watching uh, old draft tape is and old college games is guaranteed to be full of fun surprises. And I went back to like you know 2008 or whatever to watch like guys like Michael Beasley and O.J. Mayo and Russell Westbrook and, uh, and Kevin Love and uh, the one that stood out to me the most and you know popped as like the best player on the floor in these games is Taj Gibson, um, who you know obviously wasn't nearly renowned as as a prospect as you know Beasley or O.J. and Obviously, wasn't you know as great of an NBA player as you know be as you know Love or, or Westbrook, but he was like legitimately awesome in the the couple of USC games I watched from his his draft year. He was so so dominant. Or this might actually not have been his draft year, but the, I'm not sure. Either way, he was very very dominant. Um, and like Taj was an older player. I know he was like really like 24 like when he plays for a NBA game, which is crazy old. Um, but he was like obviously dominant and like so sturdy. As a defender, um, not like incredibly overwhelming, but always in the right spot, uh, making the right rotations, timing his blocks well without fouling, like not super tall, not like an amazing athlete, but was so great with positioning and being able to make these plays. And especially when I'm looking for like role players in the draft, you know, this feel term is nebulous that I've talked about, but guys who can position themselves, have really good awareness, uh, have spatial awareness, uh, can kind of map the court on both offense and defense, um, or just smart with their you know timing and positioning, and just generally know how to play the game. And Taj certainly embodies all of that. Again, able to sit on the back of, of Kevin Love here and block this. Nothing crazy here, uh, just so sturdy, hard to really beat cleanly. Uh, he's able to time that block from behind without fouling. And another thing that's always fun is like watching these very, you know, now pretty old role players um, when they were spry young athletes. And, you know, Todd wasn't that young here, but he could really move back in college. Like, watch how quickly his hips flip there. Like, this is pretty wild. Like, an instant hip flip. I like to do this. How, how many frames is this? This is like, let's see, he is like, this is where he's square. So let's start counting from about here. So we have one, one, two, three, four. Five, six, like six or seven frames until his hips are all the way turned around. That's, that's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, like he was a pretty dang good athlete for for like his role, and it's very cool to watch. Like, um, you know, obviously not that guy right now. Very like strictly bruising post four, who's just strong and you know doesn't move super well anymore. But uh, very cool to watch. Again, just more super great positioning, not overreacting to this drive, not overhelping. Um, not leaving his guy totally wide open, but is able to step up, stop this drive, uh, recover to Kevin Love, and, you know, move his feet well. And again, just simple, sturdy, solid anchoring defense um, from Tosh Gibson. Um, and it's something you see in a lot of future NBA role players. Um, just guys who can be sturdy, guys who can stay on the floor, add positive value. And offensively, he was definitely that way as well. Um, could really score on the post. Um Again, like, Taj does not move like this anymore. It's pretty crazy to watch him move with such grace and fluidity for, for who he is now. And obviously, he was much younger here, but very cool to see. And he was, like, a very, very good post scorer. Had footwork, touch, craft, could score with both hands. Um, he's able to cook Kevin Love with a little, you know, hezzy crossover from the mid range. And, you know, obviously, you know, m maybe, the, you know, people were. I haven't gone back and looked, but. You know, I could have maybe seen people being like, oh, there's some upside on the perimeter with extending out touches like this more consistently for his creation. Um, obviously never materialized. But, you know, this was pretty impressive stuff, like, for for a guy of his size being able to move and, and create advantages with his handle and his quickness. Like, like, like you don't see that every day. It's it's very, very cool. Um, again, like, these, these poor college bigs were just food. Like, there was absolutely nothing they could do. And Taj was, you know, maybe this is kind of what I didn't expect the most to see is, and I didn't really watch a lot of, you know, or, like I wasn't aware of early career Taj Gibson. I was like, I was like nine or whatever when he got drafted. Um, so, you know, someone who watched him will, will know better, but like he was a really good passer in college. Um, obviously a formidable post score and defenses respected that. And when people like Russell Westbrook get caught ball watching, he was very, very clean and very consistent at finding these cut cutters with a manner of pretty pretty complex and tough deliveries, like uh, the perfectly on time wrap around and you know not an open window for sure. That's that's certainly an NBA level window. 
I talked about MBA windows in the Leonard Miller video I did. Um, this is an MBA window. Like that is pretty tight. As well, like he is just so good at noticing the exact moment the help is lapsing, uh, the exact moment this guy fully commits, and this defender, who I believe is, is Luke Mbob Mute, uh, isn't rotating down to get his cutter. It's an instant delivery, and this time he uses his height and his length to get it over the double instead of around. Um, so you see a different kind of delivery there. And then we have a third pass to the cut, uh, or as well, at the time he like, releases this ball, like it doesn't look like this defenders, this are offensive players that open. There's you know one, two, three, four defenders in that area, but Taj knows his momentum is counter to everyone else's, and is able to make a very clean pass. As well, Taj could hit this little skip pass. Um, he did this you know a decent amount as well in, in the games I saw, where even though like this isn't as horrible defense as, as the last one necessarily, uh, like he's able to to draw help with his drive. And right when the help commits, he's hanging in the air and making a perfectly placed skip pass and catches that one and dunks it, uh, which is pretty fun as well. So Taj, you know, kind of exemplified all of the the points that like a future NBA role player, uh, he was easy to kind of, you know, obviously hindsight 2020, but imagine him as a long-term NBA veteran because of those, because of the feel, because of how strong he was, because of how hard he played. Um, and, you know, all those things are things I look for, you know, when I'm scouting the draft now uh, for, you know, future role players, guys who are going to stick around for a long time. And I think David Roddy is one of these guys who, you know, is, is a lot smaller than, you know, Gibson uh, in terms of height and is, you know, way more perimeter oriented, but it's the same way where he's super strong, it's built like a brick shit house, um, a very smart passer out of the post and more perimeter passing than Tosh. This is a great pass all around. Uh, you see this defender comes, and Roddy is instantly able to whip that overhead pass to uh, the cutter as well. Uh, he is you know, not only able to hit skip passes like this uh, from the post, uh, really, really love this as his man cuts down to take away this defender, and he instantly hits that skip pass. Uh, beautiful, beautiful play by, by, by David Roddy. Um, but again, like, like Roddy is a player who is super smart, uh, can pass in a lot of different ways. It's like a, I mean, he's like a really good shooter as well and is more of a wing than Gibson. Uh, they aren't similar at all in play style, but point being they have a lot of traits that I think indicate potential role player goodness uh, at some point in the league. And again, uh, one more important thing to consider with these two is to think about role and context, uh, not only for like what their future role will be, but for you know, how are they going to develop and how they're going to you know, exercise their development pathways as well. Because, like, Roddy and Taj were, like, stars, quote-unquote, in college. Like, these guys who are role players in the league, like, commanded high usage and ran lots of different possession types when in the league. Obviously, you know, Taj was much more limited to, like, rim running and dunking and rebounding, and Roddy's most likely going to be pretty limited to, like, spot-ups and close-out attacking, at least early in his career. Maybe some light mismatch stuff, but, um, you know, just have, having that, you know, in their back pocket is nice. Um, and knowing that, you know, guys do more in college than they do in the league is important to consider. Another guy who is, you know, more on the big spectrum of things is Jalen Williams, who is taller than Taj, longer than Taj, not the athlete as well or the, or the rim protector, but equally as smart. Uh, again, I love this play so much. Jalen's one of my favorite guys in the class to watch, uh, contrary to what some of my friends believe. Um, again, stunting at this, uh, you know, look, this is a very clutch transition play, uh, stunting at the ball handler and recovering back for the steal. Uh, he is so, so smart. Amazing instincts. Um, you know, so high feel in a different way from, from Taj, maybe, as a defender. Um, again, the commonality, an awesome you know, post passer, uh, awesome short roll passer, awesome, you know, high post elbow, free throw line extended passer. Um, again, we see this as kind of like a foundational micro skill is being able to kill these double teams. Uh, where Jalen is, <laughs> and I mean, that is just like nasty and unnecessary. Uh, but again, I mean, he, he's able to notice this help coming. The second number 15 fully commits, he makes this hilariously ridiculous delivery. Um, and when he notices his help isn't, you know, going to be in position, he is able to make that pass and convert it. Uh, so these are a couple guys who I just like for this draft. Um, but like the, the main point is, you know, that Taj Gibson's really cool. And if you didn't know that Taj Gibson in college was sick like I didn't know. I hope you learned something and I hope you um, enjoyed the cool Taj Gibson tape because I think it's really fun.